awesome God. A great and powerful God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can even ask or think. Because all power is given, into, given unto you, Lord Jesus, in heaven and in the earth. You are the king of the kingdom. Lord, today we represent your kingdom. We believe your kingdom. We believe that your kingdom exists today. We believe that your kingdom is inside of us. I believe that you are the king of the kingdom and you said inside of your word, you wish above all things that we would prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper it. Lord God, there's somebody that is watching me right now and they are feeling, they're experiencing sickness, their family member is experiencing sickness and they need a healing. Lord God, as we are talk, about to talk about healing, we are about to talk about your power. I pray that you will run into their homes, run into their homes and touch that loved one, run into their homes, oh God, with your presence, with your glory and bring a healing touch to them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As the word of God says in the book of Matthew chapter 10 reading from verse 7 it says and as he go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick cleanse the leper raise the dead cast out devils freely he have received it and freely he must give it and God says listen here I want you to go I want you to preach to the people preach to them and tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I'm here to preach to you today that the kingdom of heaven is now. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. And God wants us to go out to heal some people. God wants us to go to be bring deliverance to some people. God wants us to raise the dead. Yes, the word of God says to raise the dead. There are some things in your life that the devil has destroyed, that the devil has killed. Maybe it's a physical loved one. And God says, listen, this person is not time for them to die. I decree and declare that that person will live in the name of Jesus. I want you to know today that sickness is not of God. In heaven there is no sickness. In the kingdom of heaven, in the kingdom of God, there is no sickness. Sickness cannot dwell in the realms of God. Sickness cannot dwell where the presence of Jesus is. Jesus said, listen, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Life is inside of Jesus. Wherever Jesus goes, he carries life. He's not a carrier of death. He's not a carrier of sickness. You may be wondering if this sickness came from God. Some of you, your family members are sick. Some of you have been battling with sickness for years upon years. Battling with generational sickness. Many of you have been battling with sickness not only in your, in your own body, but battling with family members. You have to be taken care of. And you're wondering, are you saying, God, is there any end to this sickness? I want you to know that God did not design you to become sick. God, God's intent for your life is not for you to be sick. So in heaven there is no sickness. In the kingdom of God there is no sickness. There are generational sickness that comes down from the father, the, the grandfather, the, the son. Generational sickness. There are family curses that, that, that one person have diabetes and this person have diabetes and that person carry diabetes and sugar. All these different diseases passed down. Cancer. Sickness that, are, that, that is caused by witchcraft. Some persons suffer witchcraft attacks and they start feeling so the, the, the foot start getting heavy and also the foot start getting black or the hands start getting black. You go to the hospital over and over, you find yourself to this doctor, you're spending money here, you're spending money there like the woman with the issue of blood. You continually spend money, you keep going to physician after physician and there is no help. Most of the time when you find yourself going from doctor to doctor and they cannot find out what is wrong with you, it is a spiritual attack, witchcraft that causes sickness. Sickness that is caused from lack of rest. Your body needs to rest. So many of times you overwork your body when God has commanded us to rest. Jesus said, come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Even God rested when he, was, when he was creating the world. Even God rested and showed us that we need to rest. 
Some persons don't even find time to go to church. They work from Monday to Sunday, from Sunday to Saturday. They work right around the clock, 24-7. They don't give God any time. And then when their body deteriorates, they ask the prophet, come and pray for me. They ask the pastor, come and pray for me. When you yourself cause your own sickness, sicknesses that are caused by demon many persons who have who are demon possessed demons will cause a breakdown inside of your body i remember going to the hospital once and i met a young lady they said that she had a brain tumor she was in a coma for two days when i got to a hospital bed she opened her eye immediately and i saw the demon the demon manifested it was a demon that was causing the brain tumor she was not just physically sick but she was spiritually and physically sick caused by a demon and the Lord said if she gets delivered she'll be okay there's some person that are battling sickness right now because you need deliverance there is a demonic force that is inside of your body destroying your body and you need to come to God to get deliverance those that are being bound by witchcraft you need deliverance sickness that is caused by disobedience the bible says if you partake of communion and you know that you you're not supposed to partake of it some persons will suffer sickness because of that and even some will die because of it but i want you to know that sickness is not of god in heaven there is no sickness it is the will of the enemy to keep you sick but it's the will of god to heal you that's why god sent his servants out to bring healing to your body to bring healing to your your your, your whole your soul and your spirit to cleanse the brokenhearted that's why the spirit of god has been given unto us to mend the brokenhearted so you may be battling with different kind of sickness maybe it's hiv maybe it's a lung condition maybe it's some some kind of mental illness it's oral oral health preg pregnancy problems sexual um health problems maybe it's your skin maybe you, you you can't sleep in the nighttime there are many persons who cannot sleep in the night maybe it's depression maybe it's asthma maybe it's a, a, a cancer in the blood maybe it's blood pressure maybe it's it's all different prostate cancer maybe you are just suffering from mind migraine headaches maybe it's 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 your voice maybe there's a problem with your voice or with your ears but the Lord is saying today that my will for you is for you to be healed not for you to walk around in sickness I just remember the man that was by the pool for 38 years longing for someone longing for someone to take him up and put him inside of the water as an angel troubled the water and I hear the Lord says the water are troubled right now the water is troubled right now the water is troubled and all you need to do is come unto Jesus. All you need to do is find yourself in the presence of God. I noticed today we have a trend where most persons, they want the man of God to come to them. And they don't want to find themselves where the man of God is. And a lot of persons will miss their breakthrough. A lot of persons will miss their healing because they refuse to find the man of God. In the word of God, the Bible says that even blind men found the Jesus. Even, La even Lazarus who was dead, he listened, he heard the voice of God and came forth. Some persons, they have life, they could walk. The sickness is upon the body, but they won't find where the presence of God. They won't find themselves in the glory of God. If I were you, I would run to where the man of God is. I would run to where a woman of God is and I will get my healing, get my deliverance so that my body can be in working order. I speak to every devil that is inside of the bodies of individuals that are listening to me even right now. And I come against you in the name of Jesus. I bind the strong man in the name of Jesus. And I command you in the mighty name of Jesus to come out and to let go that body in the name of Jesus. Every sickness that is caused by witchcraft, I cancel you and call you null and void right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, even right now, 
I pray that this information, oh God, will flood into the homes of the people that are listening, that you want them to be healed, that it is not your desire for them to be sick, it is not your desire for them to be in the hospital, it is not your desire for them to be down and out, it is not your desire for them to be walking around with infirmities, but it is your will to see them prosperous and in perfect health. Lord God, I pray, oh God, even right now, that they will be obedient and run to you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise. Hallelujah. Remember, people of God, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Love God and love people. Hallelujah, Jesus.